I have a lot of iPad accessories that have kind of been accumulating that I need to review and I just figured one big massive iPad accessory video would be fun. So like always, I will put links in the description below, but let's get to it. All right, so the first one is by Nomad Craft. It's this minimalist aesthetic leather carry case. I really like this. Um, it's really nice, really well made. A lot of times, you know, you get leather goods and they're not, they're not made well, but this one is really, really nice. Great solid build quality. Um, it's got this nice brass buckle strap so that you can open up. Uh, there's three pockets essentially to this. Again, it's really minimalist, so you're not gonna be able to carry like everything you need on a business trip or whatever to it. But um, let's kind of go through the pockets. We'll start with the main one here. So this one's where you'd put your laptop or your iPad. By the way, there's two versions of this. There's one specifically for the iPad and there's one for uh, the MacBook as well. Um, this one can hold a 12.9 inch iPad Pro with the Magic Keyboard and the Apple Pencil, no problem. So that's what kind of I put in this main sleeve. Then there's the secondary sleeve for things like you know, charging brick. This is the 30 watt USB-C charger, not even the one that comes with the iPad, uh, but a bigger one, uh, USB-C cable, and uh, I just always throw in AirPods Pro. These are important to carry around and we'll get to more of that in a minute. Obviously this doesn't hold a whole lot. Uh, like I said, it's a minimalist aesthetic carry case or carry sleeve, whatever you want to call it. Really nice build quality, really good leather work. I, I love me some good leather goods. Highly recommend this if you're into that minimalist aesthetic. Now it does have a third pocket with kind of an asterisk on it. It's this small little pocket right here uh, for probably business cards, uh, but I'm not a business person, so I don't really have anything to go in it. Um, but yeah, there is, if you're a big business person, you can put some business cards in there. So on the other end of the minimalist aesthetic spectrum would be the maximalist aesthetic spectrum. Uh, I'm not even sure that's really a thing, but I'm just gonna say it is. Tom Talk sent me these carry cases. They're these hard shell cases. There's two different sizes. Uh, this is one for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. And then there's some smaller ones for all the other iPads as well. Uh, I really love the colors they come in. I have a black one here for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Uh, then there's an orange and a gray one. I really like the orange. Like if you're an orange person, this is a good color of orange, good shade of orange. It's got a good solid handle right here for carrying it, but let's go ahead and open it up. Nice zippers. So we'll go to, we'll start with the back side first. Uh, there's this nice fabric side that I'm not entirely sure why it's there. Um, maybe it's if you were to put an iPad in here without a case or something like that. Um, but I have my iPad Pro 12.9 inch with the Magic Keyboard and the Apple Pencil in there. Fits in there, no problem. It's snug, um, it, but it, you don't feel like you're forcing it in there. Um, it's perfect. Then if we come over to the next page right here, you, it's got these straps right here that you can put some stuff in. I throw a pen, some cables, AirPods Pro, charger, things like that. And then there's this uh, kind of sleeve area right here. I just, I just personally, I threw a notebook in here. Um, I didn't really have anything in particular that I needed. This is fantastic. This is great for, you know, um, hey, I need to go to work. You just grab this and you go. Um, if you don't want to carry a big backpack with you or a messenger bag or something like that, if you just want a small case, this is, this is perfect for that kind of thing. Uh, the smaller sizes, they're, they're the same thing. They have the same kind of layout. Uh, they're just smaller. One of the things I've been thinking about a lot lately is an ergonomic iPad setup. And I've been trying out a lot of different things and I'm gonna have more on that soon. But one of the things that I tried out that I really liked and I didn't really wanna save it for a later video is this Lamical gooseneck iPad tablet holder stand thing. Lamical might sound familiar because that's the laptop stand I use that I put my iPad on. Uh, I'll put that link in the description. Uh, that's a really great product. I absolutely love using it. I've been using it since the summer and it's it's been fantastic for a more ergonomic iPad setup. You know, a lot of people are doing a lot of video calls and stuff right now and, and working a lot longer at their desk. So I thought this would be an excellent product and it has been. So you can use this clamp and attach it to pretty much any desk, table, whatever. And then your iPad goes right here. 
And then this completely adjusts. So it's been great for doing Zoom calls or FaceTime calls, Skype calls, whatever, or working at my iPad for a longer period of time paired with a, uh, a Bluetooth keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse or trackpad. So I can kind of have my iPad in a more ergonomic setup, have a keyboard and mouse down here. I can still tap the screen and it's really stiff too. It's, 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 not, it's not super easy to move around, uh, which means that when you put a big iPad on here, like a 12.9 inch iPad Pro, the weight of that isn't gonna just make it crash down. It's gonna be held sturdy. So um, this has been something that has been great. So if you're even just doing a lot of video calls and you're using your iPad for that, this alone is worth it. Like I highly recommend it because like everybody, I've been doing a lot of video calls and I can always tell when somebody's using like an iPad or a laptop because the device is low and it's pointed up and it's really weird. You don't want a camera pointed up at you because then people can see up your nose, see all your nose hairs. It just, it's not a very flattering angle. You want a camera to be straight on for you. It looks a lot more flattering, looks a lot more professional. So if you're doing a lot of video calls or something like that, this is perfect. If you're working at your iPad for a long period of time and have a Bluetooth uh, mouse and a Bluetooth keyboard, this is also great for that as well. Okay, so uh, in the past, a company called Moft has sponsored one of my videos. Uh, this video is not sponsored by them. They did not know I'm gonna talk about this product. I didn't tell them about it. I bought it with my own money. But I have this tablet stand from them and it sticks to the back of the iPad. And what I like about it is since it's stuck to the iPad, I don't ever have to worry about you know finding it, seeing where it is, going and getting it. It's just always there. And then when you wanna use it, you just pull it out, push it down, and you have a tablet stand. And then you can also turn it sideways. And now you have a tablet stand in landscape. So it's this always attached, really nice uh, tablet stand that's extremely low profile. So it doesn't get in the way of you using a tablet. Uh, you can you know, still hold it fine. It, it feels good in the hand. It doesn't add extra bulk or any extra weight. It's perfect for this. Um, I have it attached to a uh, seventh gen iPad right here. And it's, it's just, absolutely perfect. Like if you want to use it to uh, play podcasts or something while you're cooking, this would be good. You could you could put it in uh, portrait mode and display a recipe so you can see more of your recipe while cooking. It would be great like if you use your iPad as a secondary computer next to like a, a MacBook or something, you put it right there. It's, it's a good stand. It's not going to fall over on itself. I, I really actually really like this product. So um, this, this has been something that uh, has been really cool to kind of play with. Uh, like I said, I, I mostly have been using this iPad in the kitchen uh, for like recipes and stuff like that. I'm trying to get better about cooking and not ordering takeout. Editor's Keys sent me this USB-C dongle. Now we all probably have a billion of these flying around, uh, but I like this one. It's kind of a different layout than a lot of the other ones that I have. Um, it's got your obviously a USB-C in, so you can plug it into your iPad or MacBook or whatever. USB-C for charging, SD card and micro SD card, which is nice if you use like GoPros or something like that. Headphone jack if you, if you still need that. Uh, 4K HDMI and then three USB-A ports. So this this has been really good for using with like audio gear because a lot of audio gear is still shipping or at least a lot of the audio gear that I have still uses USB-A. Um, I could order USB-C cables for those, but I just haven't gotten around to that. So that's kind of what I've been using this. And one other thing that I really like, it's just kind of a nice little touch. This end right here lights up blue when it's plugged in. Huh? Huh? Who doesn't like a good blue LED? And if you say you don't, Hmm, that's not true. I know you like a good blue LED. It's okay, we all like a good blue LED. Speaking of dongles, uh, I also bought this Anchor SD and Micro SD card. And you're thinking, oh, hey, Chris, you just talked about that other one that has SD and Micro SD. Why'd you buy another one? Well, this one is small, so it's great to throw in your bag when you need to take it on like a photography trip or something like that. But because of COVID, I haven't been doing that. What I've actually been doing is, well, we're gonna have to save that for another video. But it's been really helpful, especially when just like transferring video files and stuff off my camera and I don't need to grab this big USB-C dongle. I just need the small thing, plug it in the side of my iPad and transfer stuff off. Um, it's really good for that. Plus I have an upcoming project um, that you guys will see probably in a few weeks uh, that this is a part of. But if you need a good USB-C to SD card dongle to transfer photos, files, whatever from a camera or whatever, the Anchor one is fantastic. Okay, so next up isn't really a specific product, but more of a category. 
It's just noise canceling headphones. So I've talked about these a lot, so I'm not gonna go into them again, but these are the Sony WH-1000X M3, and these are the AirPods Pro. Uh, these, the Sony ones, there is a new version of these, the M4, which has even better noise canceling apparently, but I bought these like a month before the M4s came out and I, didn't, I just couldn't justify buying the newer version when these work perfectly. Noise canceling headphones, are a must. You, you know those books, those productivity books people write and it's like, do this one thing and you'll 10X your productivity. Okay, if I was to ever write one of those books, which I won't ever write one of those books, my one thing that you would need to do is buy noise canceling headphones. Just block out the world around you and you will get so much more done. I I, I can't stress that enough. I'll, I'll put links to the new version of the Sony ones and the AirPods Pro in the description if, if you're interested in those. I, I like these uh, headphones. Um, the AirPods Pro, I have a problem getting the ear fit test to pass and so the noise canceling doesn't work as great for me. I just have weird ears. Um, so if I need really good noise canceling, that's where these come in. I mostly use these for when I go on a run or something because I can put them in transparency mode and hear the world around me and like cars coming and stuff like that. Um, but if I'm like in deep work and stuff like that, that's where like these over ear headphones come in. So that's it for this video. That's all the accessories I have to review right now, but I have a lot more coming up related to the iPad and iOS and iPhone and productivity and all that fun stuff. So be sure to subscribe. I'm curious what your favorite iPad accessory is. If I didn't mention it in this video or whatever, if you could let me know in the comments below, that would be great. That'd be really helpful. I'm always on the lookout for more iPad accessories. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.